Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll try to do a review, more like uh, my opinion on this bike, uh, Jetson Hayes. Uh, there was uh, many comments and posts about the bike not worth the money. And I don't blame you for thinking this way. $600 actually I think it's worth the money because um, it's a solid bike. Um, there's many other bikes on the market so let's get closer to the bike and I'll give you my opinion about this bike and you can decide which one you want to go with because there are so many bikes on the market in about the same price range maybe 100 200 dollars more you can get better bike or 200 dollars less you can get also good bike so let's talk about the Jetson Hayes and if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit subscribe like this video Thank you. So I'm gonna give you some spec on this bike first before going uh, further. So it comes with 16 inch wheels, 160 millimeter mechanical brakes, dual brakes. Uh, it comes with a rear suspension and um, it comes with a front light, rear light, brake light and fully foldable, frame foldable and the handlebar foldable removable battery uh, the battery is 360 watt hours 48 volt by 7.8 amp which uh, big size for this type of small bike it's a um, some upgrade uh, they meet uh, and you cannot really compare it to Jason Ball Pro because Jason Ball Pro is a kind of different bike different category so this one is kind of between uh, between full size and mini size so it's still a small bike but it's more stable on the road and you can uh, ride this bike uh, even with one hand versus to Jason Ball Pro would be kind of hard to do that also this bike comes with three mode you can easily to switch modes over here okay uh, turn on button and it comes with cruise control as well and turn on light you, this is the button to use it comes with full throttle which is um, okay and uh, adjustable handlebar here and I believe the tire is about two inches wide and it comes also with dual uh, mud guards or fenders so things um, people concern and uh, saying that this bike is kind of overpriced versus to Jensen Bolt Pro and um, yes it costs about twice as much but it's totally different bike if you compare it it's more solid bike it's aluminum it's weight 52 pounds with a battery you can always remove the battery so it will be much lighter you can pick it up put it in the trunk and I notice it takes a little bit less space in a trunk because it's fully foldable versus just a ball pro you cannot really fold it and um, the reason I like this bike because of portability again you can take it with you you can remove the battery and um, the motor is still small considered to other bikes so it's only 350 watt so you will not really see much different in speed uh, if you compare it to Jason Ball Pro as I did before video you can check in description this bike going about two miles faster than Jason Ball Pro the torque I would say maybe very little noticeable because the battery is 48 watt but I would not go with this bike because it's more power in it uh, it's not really faster but this bike might be better for many people who is not really uh, good riders or new riders because it's more stable on the road more safer to ride because of bigger wheels and uh, this bike have three speed you can start like learning to ride on the first speed not the fast and second and third so it's kind of give you more practical like an um, everyday riding experience and learning how to ride faster and then you can upgrade to the better bigger bike mm, but again it's not a uh, Jetson Bolt uh, Pro and this bike is totally different bikes and Jetson didn't make this bike most likely to replace Jetson Bolt Pro because they are different for most likely 
for different people. The assemble pro is more for youngsters who can afford to spend 300 hours. This one is a bit more expensive, 600, 650 online. And uh, this bike, it's great for RV, most likely to take with you because you will be more comfortable to ride off-road on the 16 inch versus to 14 inch. I'm not saying that just a Bolt Pro you cannot ride it, but this bike is uh, more stable on the road and I rode this bike a little bit and I can feel the difference. About the seat and comfortability, I would not say it's comfortable, it's okay to ride, I would change it. The suspension, it's give you a little bit suspension, so it's give you much softer ride, but it's not expensive, it's a cheap suspension which costs about 20 dollars, maybe more a little bit. So it's not really something um, priced on. This bike has a battery which probably cost half of the price of this bike and motor and uh, remember delivery fees, it's all eat up the cost of the bike. So that's why you are paying $600 for this bike. And this bike also has less uh, options to upgrade it, to, uh, to put the basket. You can only attach the basket, I think, to the seat post. Uh, since the frame is movable and on the front you cannot really do it. Uh, this bike also comes with a nice uh, handlebar. It's better uh, clamp than um, Bolt Pro or Bolt. Uh, also foldable um, uh, pedals, which is nice. It's come with a bike. And um, again, it's a comfortable small little bike if you're looking for something um, inexpensive between um, full size and mini size this one it would be some, some something between but again if you want more stable bike then i would consider to go 20 inch wheels and uh, fatter tires or even 26 inch you can check a uh, link in the description for my other reviews videos and um, this bike is uh, fun to ride it looks really great as you can see the way they make this custom Jetson stickers over here also they put Jetson logo it looks really cool so it comes with a lock it's right here I show it on my unboxing video how to use this it's a good part and it's bad part if you accidentally close this you may end up to be locked out of your bike so you will not be able to ride also come with magnet once you fold it it's a really good future you will keep the bike folded uh, in your car or rv so i think um, this one is like between uh, bike just bolt pro and uh, electrics uh, xp uh, probably light somewhere between and the cost is like 600 dollars xp light costs like 800 dollars so this one would be somewhere between because uh, the tires are a bit smaller, but the same battery. I believe XP Lite have the same battery size. Maybe a little bit faster bike, but the mug wheel makes it really cool. It's much easier to clean them. And um, again, if you can afford better bike, I would go with bigger size. But if you need to save some space and don't want to spend as much money and also get the best Casca return policy, then just on haze. It's a great bike. I think it's a good price. About the speed hacks or adding another battery, I think it will be more complicated to make speed hack on this bike. Uh, you would have to upgrade the controller. Also, you would have to um, uh, change the uh, add some extra battery. It will be a little bit more complicated. I think you can do it, but then it will not worth the money. I think you can buy much faster bike for about the same money with a bigger battery if you want to so it's not really worse I don't think it's worth um, unless you just want to do YouTube video for fun so so people can see that you can do it otherwise uh, I don't think it's worth the money at the time so don't buy this bike if you're thinking to get it much faster put a bigger battery on this it's just waste of time and money and you're running in a risk if you're putting aftermarket battery you may run in a risk to burn the bike as well and that's about it i hope i answer all the questions you guys posted before comments and i want to thank you everybody who follow me and i'll see you in the next video see you later bye